We also have ions. If we gain electrons, we will have more negative charge. So the element will be shown like this. X, the symbol of the element. Negative, the charge we gain. So as an example, like if we gain one electron, so it will be negative one. And uh, here they gave us an example on uh, bromine, Br. Its atomic number is 35 and the atomic mass is 80 and it's uh, gained one electron. They want us to find number of protons, number of neutrons, number of electrons. Number of protons is the same number of uh, the atomic number, so protons equals to 35. And uh, neutrons will equal to 80 minus 35, and it will equal to 45. And the electron will equal to 35 number of protons plus the electrons it gains here it gained one electron so one minus so that means it, it gained uh, one negative charge so the electron is negative so it gained the one okay so plus one and it will equal to 36 and here if we lose electrons we will have less negative charge and more positive charge. So the element X will be plus the, the charge we lost. Okay, so plus one may, as an example. So plus one. So this means this element lost one electron. And for example, we'll take the calcium Ca. Its atomic number is uh, 20 the atomic mass equals to 40 and here it's it's lost two electrons protons will protons neutrons and electrons number of protons will equals the atomic number and the neutrons will equals 40 minus 20 and it will equals to 20 and uh, the electrons will equals to 20 minus 2 minus the electrons is lost so it will equal to 18 and now we have isotopes isotopes are elements having the same atomic number and different atomic mass so we'll take for an example the helium helium is H here we have three H's first we will have one for well, we will have a fixed atomic number and it will equal to 1 and different mass uh, atomic mass here we have 1 here and now we have 2 here we have 3 uh, the isotopes will, he, uh, will help us to find the average atomic mass later in different uh, in different uh, chapters okay it will help us to find the average atomic mass uh, so that's it for today. See you in the upcoming tutorials. Goodbye.